Well, hello everyone. This is Diane. I am in a tag flip swap. This is my second one. This one I have really enjoyed. Um, I'm not sure why, but I really enjoyed creating for this one. It was a little bit more simpler. I didn't like go out of my mind trying to figure things out like I did for uh, Nicole's swap. I don't know. Maybe I, I think I overthought it. This one I just said, I'm just going to have fun with it. It's no big deal. I just needed to make five tags. I ended up making one, two, three, four, five. I think I ended up making six or seven actually, but I'm just going to show these ones. Uh, because some of the tags that I made aren't really like tag tags. I like, um, well, I'll, I'll go over them when I do an actual, what I'm packing up, but I'm, I'm going to do this because I've had a lot of questions about this particular one. I posted on my Instagram and I've had a lot of interest in it on how I did things. So I just thought, well, I'll just do a video and do a little project share of the things I've been making. I made this envelope with this heart rosette, which I don't know if it's because I haven't done them in quite a while, but it just seemed kind of hard to, to me to make. This this little hugs and kisses I got from Erica's new cell phone. And this is her information. You can go to her website and, and order all kinds of things. She has some wonderful dyes. And she, uh, hashtag Scrap Diva Designs on Instagram or YouTube. I don't do TikTok, so I don't know about TikTok. Does she have TikTok on here? No. So anyways, so I created this little envelope. I have had this die forever. I don't even know if I've ever even used it. I really, truly don't. But it comes with this piece that I thought actually went with uh, Pretty Pink Posh's little note card, but it does not. It goes with this envelope. And this envelope is this piece here, and then you glue on this this top and this bottom. So it's a three-piece die. So it has uh, the side piece, the top, which is also the bottom. And you just glue them all, all together. But I, I decided I'd make a bunch of words, so that's what I kind of did. Um, I just had I just had fun doing stuff. And I figured I would just stick it in this envelope, make it a die. I'm going to put this one in the back so it doesn't get smushed. I'd make it into a, or not a die, I'm sorry. Make it into a tag. And whoever receives it will just get a bunch of Valentine's words. So that's how it's going to go. It's going to hang this way, but you know, it is a, an envelope. So, so I made that. Then I was playing with Scrap Diva's Little Hearts, and this one just doesn't like to stick. I'm going to add another removable because it keeps falling off. We had to um, make, for this swap, two sets of embellishments. So what I did was I just made three of these little hearts. These are Scrap Diva's Little layering hearts or however you want to make them i hope that stays now and what i did was i cut this great big heart i think it goes to a shaker i don't know <laughs> because it's in my valentine's heart uh, envelope <laughs> but i made it and i i i covered it with packing tape also to make it sturdy and make it into a tag and this is just a cut apart and what I did was I just taped this heart onto this cut apart. And this cut apart, I put packing tape on top of it. And these little things, these little hearts, they're just like, like you saw, they're just reusable little dots like this. And because this is tape, it, it just makes it um, stickable and will come off easier. That's my idea anyway. So so I thought that was pretty clever. And then the next one I made was, this is Scrap Diva's little cell phone die. And I used this little tab that, that goes around the case, cell phone case, I guess it's called. And I, I made 
an extra one and I put tape on it also and poked a hole in it, glued it to the back and made it into a die. And what I did with this case here is I made it an embellishment holder. So I did the same thing. I just put tape on this area of the die and I uh, glued the words on, as you can see. So they're removable and I put a little thing there's removable. These stickers here I found in my stash because this year it, I am trying to no cash, use stash. And the only thing I'm going to, to buy would be like adhesives, gifts that I need for swaps, and dies. But only certain dies, not a whole bunch of dies, just dies that, you know, I know that I can use all year round. I don't want to go nuts, but, you know, I'm, I'm a diaholic, so that I can't, I can't help myself. Anyways, I made this, this little cell phone case. And uh, these stickers here I've had for years and years and years and years. I got these in a swap. Oh, I don't even know how many years ago. They are um, Paper Studio. So I know that they come from Hobby Lobby. I believe they're Paper Studio. Uh, I don't think they were Park Lane. I think these ones were Park Lane. So it had the lipstick and I thought... The, and the colors. I just thought it would go really nice with this. I think this is Hobby Lobby. And I thought it just went so well with this case, you know. And this little idea here, I, I scrap lift it from Patty, Mommy and Me. She did that, and so I decided to do it. And what I did was, when I glued on the, the strap to the back, I just folded it over and I used a pencil and I traced on my white cardstock about where it would go so I wouldn't glue that area. And so I glued all of it but that area and as you can see it just that leaves the paper up and that's what I decided to use as my strap and it works really well. So I thought that was really cool. And oh this heart here came from inside of here so I was able to use that up. And this here goes in the envelope. I'm going to stick it in before I, I lose it. I'll probably get lost anyways, but you know. So this is the thing that everybody's been asking me about. These lip gloss with the pom-poms, I got at the Dollar Tree. And they have two different colors. They have this light pink, which is my favorite. Or they have a hot pink. And I just prefer the light pink just because I, I do like pink. Pink is my favorite color. But I like the lighter pinks. I don't like really the hot pinks or, yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, I, I will I will do hot pinks. I, not that I won't do hot pinks. It's just I prefer the lighter pinks. So I just made a dangle off of this. This comes with the lip gloss, as you see here, and the pom-pom. And I, I, took, I did this quite a few years ago. I started making these. Every time I'm in a Valentine swap, I do try to find these at my Dollar Tree and I make dangles out of them. Because it already has the dangle hook, and you can use the lip gloss, and they can just take the dangle off. Well, they can take anything off if they want to, but um, but I, that's what I do is I just make my dangle. And on this particular dangle, I just did a whole bunch of words. I ran out of E's on my letters and my A's. I guess you go through vowels really quick, right? So I just used the heart as an A and the number three has the E's. I did have these, but I am running out of, I am running out of vowels for those too. So I don't know what to do with them. Just throw them away and get a new pack. This, this little idea, I have these beads. They're B beads. And I've used this before, but I thought it was kind of smart. Just be mine. So, and these are just a bunch of, of beads and charms that I have picked up here and there, especially recently off to move. I hauled quite a few of these off to move. Same with the cupcakes. Uh, some of these were given to me in embellishment box swaps, like these little stars in the heart and this butterfly. And I think this bead too, somebody else wired wrapped that bead, this bow. So like I said, I'm trying to 
shop my stash. No cash, you stash. That is my motto for this year. So anyways, that's how I made it. So if you guys are interested, just go to your Dollar Tree and, you know, they should have them. I'm I'm very rural, so I'm, I figure if mine had them, you probably did too. So anyways, um, that should answer a lot of questions on that. And thanks for dropping by. I enjoy your company and I will see you next time. May God bless. Bye.